Hey, what up? It's Lil Zell, Simon the Trench, baby, man. I need all y'all to go run up for the trenches out right now on all platforms, man. So you're originally from Chicago. Born and raised, yeah. Right. Yeah, do what I do to get paid, get some money. Right. You feel me? Been in jail a lot of times. Even my cousin with the ops, nigga, you think he ain't get shit? We at war with the city for real, nigga. I'm a big op. Yeah. No, what's up? What, what your cousin did, nigga? Like, yeah. I'm saying, like, a, damn. That's an op. Okay. Your cousin's on the op? other side. Yeah, for yeah, real? Op. Yeah, yeah. So, hold on. I think it's so I got like three cousins that's op on the other side. Back and forth locked up. Can't see my kids. Can't see my kids born. Missed out on a deal. What's happening? Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. What happened? We're going to short it all up. We're going to short it all up. What is going on? We're going to short it all up. The jails in New York, you know, he was locked up uh, for leaving a switch inside of a Uber, allegedly by authorities. Oh, bro, then we gonna go eat room fridge, go count off a hundred bucks or so. My nigga A round popped out. Hey, what up, man? It's Lil Zell Sama the Trench, baby. I'm back home. Appreciate Don Florio, man. Best lawyer in New York. Make sure y'all go tune in, man. At this point, it seemed like jails and prisons should have their own record labels. Cause for real, their rosters would be insane, filled with nothing but talent and infinite potential. The latest rapper that was added to the team is Shy Rack rapper Lil Zay Osama, a rapper with some success and a lot of promise. After several run-ins with the law, it would seem as if he had signed a 360 deal with Locked Up Records. His latest arrest came this year in his hometown and seems pretty serious. With his music career not as strong as it once was, things are getting kind of hazy at the moment. Can bruh bounce back and break free from the numerous shackles accumulated within the scope of the law? We gonna find out. So without further ado, let's skip the play play and get down to business. Zay was born as Isaiah J. Lon Dukes on June 3rd, 1997 in the Robert Taylor Homes, a public housing project in the Bronzeville neighborhood on Chirac Southside, a very notorious area that I'm sure you already know about. He was the baby out of the bunch. Him and his siblings were raised almost solely by his moms. Pops was rarely present and often in jail. Right, yeah, my daddy, he was always in jail. You feel me, gone? You feel me? You have a lot of life. My uncles was always in jail, gone. You know what I'm saying? So all the like. So all the like males in my in my family that was not supposed to be now they wasn't there. You feel me? Right. He started rapping when he was about eight years old. Just a little dude inspired by his older brother. I've been like, making how, music. Like I've been making music since I was like eight, nine years old. Holy My shit. cousin Leaky Leak. Yeah. He used to make all Chief <laughs> Keith beats. You yeah, shout me? out he Leaky to, Leak. Yeah, That's he, crazy. He did now. RP my RP yeah. cuz, but yeah. you feel me? Like he always had a studio since I was growing up. He always right. made music. So you were around up. that. So shit. I was around it. You feel me? And yeah. he the first one I started recording with. You feel what I'm saying? At the age of 10, he began uploading songs to YouTube and SoundCloud. At first, he went by Lil Zay, but later changed it to Lil Zay Osama after he joined the gang at a young age and became involved in the streets. An homage to an enemy of the state. What can go wrong? I'll do you guys a favor and skip the cliffhanger. A few years after signing to the streets, he got popped in the chest by an op and arrested on strap charges while he was recovering in the hospital. I had just turned 15 and I got locked up June 16th. So I got locked up days after my birthday, you feel me? And I was on house arrest too. I was on house arrest. I went, I, I was on house arrest. That happened, the robbery happened. A couple of days later, I was outside on the block I got shot, I went to the hospital, and the police came and got me from the hospital for the aggravated discharge of a firearm. So I went straight to jail. So that's why articles on Google were like, Lil Zay Osama did and shit like that. That was not bruh day at all. Imagine that, he was sentenced to five years in the juvenile detention center. Luckily, bruh only had to do three of those years, the perks of behaving yourself. During his incarceration, he decided to switch things up a bit and focus on his music. He wrote raps as well as songs that had an R&B and pop vibe. Even early on, he was thinking bigger. He had plans on being diverse, and not a lot of rappers realized that's the big bag cheat code in the game. 2017 hit him, bro was back on the streets, 19 and focused. He returned to Chirac with mentally reformed thoughts and became ready to get his clout up. He dropped more tracks on SoundCloud in 2018, and none other than Meek Mill really was taking a liking to his joints, who praised him as an artist to watch. 2019 saw his first mixtape, Hood Bible, hitting the streets. 
The joint was a hood favorite and featured the popular banger Changed Up, the song and its video. Real what, what music. Was, what was the point that you felt like Chicago, the town, started really gravitating to you? What was, was there a specific when I, record? When, was I, when I dropped that tape? Changed Up, when I got out of jail, I dropped that Changed Up, because I, I was already popular. Me and this other Chicago artist, we had beef and we was like dissing and shit. Yeah. That's one of the reasons, you know what I'm saying? Hit 20 million views on YouTube, no small feat at all. This smash is what got him a situation over at Warner Brother Records all in the same year. In 2020, Lil Zay Osama continued his run with heat rocks like Loyalty and Like a Pimp with Stunner for Vegas. Nothing but continuous bangers for the streets back to back. Apparently, it hasn't been easy to stay out of trouble either because he has certainly had some run-ins with the law in the past few years. In 2022, Bro was arrested after allegedly leaving a loaded G-lock in the whip. What whip would you ask? Was it his whip? Was it his friend's joint? Why? No. No, it wasn't. What's happening? Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. According to documents, your boy was arrested and held without bail after he allegedly left a loaded G-lock dang thing in an Uber. Yeah, you heard that right. So allegedly, instead of leaving an extra tip, he left the extra clip. Man, shout out to all the Uber drivers out there. Y'all the real MVP. Federal prosecutors in Brooklyn believe that on September 29th, an Uber driver picked up the Chicago rapper and his squad in Manhattan. The driver supposedly observed Lil Zay possessing a strap. After dropping him and his associates off in Queens, it turns out that Lil Zay had left the firearm in the vehicle. He then proceeded to call the police. He could have just called Zay at that point. He might even have got a tip that could have saved him for the rest of his week. But some people really feel like they are part of the force. I can't knock them too much though. That's a lot to deal with when you just trying to do your job. 12 retrieved the heater from the whip and the driver later helped identify Lil Zay Osama. The police academy really need to sign bruh up. Eventually, Zay was arrested and charged with possession of a machine strap and being a felon in possession of a firearm. Prosecutors claim that joint Lil Zay had was modified with a switch, which enables the firearm to shoot with rapid fire. Additionally, prosecutors said in the complaint that the Shot Town hitter is well aware of the significance of a switch device and cited lyrics from his 2021 song, Danny Block, which goes, Every day a different Glock. Well, you know how I play it. I hope this song right here don't get in the hands of the feds. Hey, I just got a brand new Glock with a 50 and a switch. Sometimes the way the prosecution uses lyrics is just plain old silly. Nonetheless, Lil Osama was stressing and looking for help in all the high places, trying to hit high profile celebrities up to help him with his little conundrum. After claiming his innocence, he asked Jay-Z and Kim Kardashian for help with his case. It's hard to say if that was a matter of clout chasing or a true cry for help. Either way, I can't knock dude's vision. He took to his Instagram to issue a plea to those two with his first post simply saying, I need Jay-Z help. He said, I need Jay-Z help. You know, Jay-Z known to look out for rappers inside the legal system who going through issues and shit like that. In a much deeper second message, he spoke on his situation and how he believed he's being targeted like so many other rappers. It says something about people wishing 20 and 30 years on him. Um... He said he thought people would wish he'd do better. People would pray for him. Instead, people wishing bad on him and shit like that. He said he not dumb. He know how to move. So I guess in his mind, he feel like he got a good explanation on what happened. Maybe he not claiming that pistol. Maybe he know something we don't know. It's crazy. I thought people would say free me, hoping I do better and wish the best, Lil Zay wrote. Y'all really in the comments and on the blog saying 20 or 30 plus I'ma get. And y'all hope I get time. Don't believe everything you hear. I've been out here, and I know how to move. Don't believe everything you hear. Gra. He continued, New York ain't playing fair. They lying on my name and targeting all artists. Most of our artists is black men, so you know what this about. They trying to do us bad. Tag Kim Kardashian, I need her. It's wild how rappers start pulling out the racial, social justice card when they get caught up. Now that's cool, but when they aren't staring down the barrel of jail time, they tend to keep that verbal weapon in their holster tucked away. He wanted to get Kim K to get involved in his case after she openly showed support for former YSL frontrunner Gunna. Over the years, she has really been riding for rappers heavily affected by the legal system. As for Jigga, his social justice division team, Rock, recently raised over $1 million for the Midwest Innocence Project to investigate wrongful convictions in Kansas. The Midwest Innocence Project has just doubled its budget, and it's all thanks to Team Rock. That's the social justice organization backed by Jay-Z. Team Rock is pushing for accountability in the KCK Police Department. 
They even bought a full page ad in the Washington Post and are suing for police records. Today, Team Rock cut a check for $1 million to the Midwest Innocence Project. That money will fund the cases in Wyandotte County. He also had his hand in a fight for reform at Mississippi's Parchment Penitentiary after Jay-Z, Yo Gotti, and Team Rock secured legal representation for more than 200 inmates at Mississippi State Penitentiary at Parchment. Attorneys hired by Jay-Z and other entertainers has ended. It have, have ended two lawsuits. Those lawsuits were filed on behalf of Mississippi inmates in 2020 over what they called squalid living conditions at the Mississippi State Penitentiary at Parchman, the state's oldest prison. Various problems had been discovered at the prison, including broken toilets, moldy showers. The lawsuits, though, were dismissed earlier this month after officials determined improvements had been made during the past three years. Friday, October 28, 2022, Lil Zay Osama was reportedly released from an NY prison after posting $1 million bail in the strap possession case. He later celebrated his release at the patio theater in his hometown in Chicago. After initially being denied, I know this felt like a breath of fresh air for bruh, no doubt. However, he wouldn't be able to ride that luck wave for too long as news reports state that Zay was arrested in his hometown on January 11, 2023. The deputy director of news affairs and communications for the Chicago Police Department shared several images of firearms seized during an investigation. Several people detained during an investigation in a stolen vehicle, a Chicago PD scanner, account added more context, alleging that Osama was one of the people obtained. Look at this. What the f are you fighting for, Iraq? Wait, are those guns covered in pumpkin? Those shit look like chips. Those shit look dirty, fool. Illinois State Police identified a stolen vehicle with multiple occupants who fled into a building. ISP has a person of interest in custody at this time. Firearms were recovered. Investigation continues, reports state. Looks like three of the four alleged offenders have already been hemmed up and six firearms were recovered. Later, a Chicago PD scanner account added more context, alleging that Lil Zay was one of the people detained. One of the offenders in custody is reportedly Chicago rapper Isaiah Dukes, better known as Lil Zay Osama, the tweet read. He has a net worth of approximately 600K. Duke is a member of the Bad Side Cali 6300 gang, a mix of Peace Stones, Gangsta Disciples, and Black Disciples. It also shared that he signed the Warner Brother Records. Goodness gracious, man, they putting all his business out there. As if his recent events haven't brought him enough embarrassment, Zay had to face further humiliation at his expense. February 1st, the booking photo from his arrest on weapons charges earlier that month hit the internet and spread like wildfire. He had a real dazed look on his face and stared down at the floor instead of looking directly in the camera. Zooted. The internet went crazy on this joint. Man, it's like bruh can't catch a break at all, but I'm sure he gonna stay strong and bounce back eventually. But man, as of now, details are rather slim in regards to his latest arrest. I'm sure he isn't happy that his career has to take a back seat to his pursuit for freedom. But hey, you know how the game go, bruh. It is what it is. We're going to keep you updated as to what's going on, so stay tuned with us. I know he just dropped a project not too long ago. But in the meantime, stay smart, stay alert, and stay real. I'm out, y'all.